Hi guys. Um, seems like the hornet's nest has been stirred up with Yahweh's re revelations about Prince Harry, whom Yahweh has done the numbers on because it is time. Like I've known since he was born. <laughs> <laughs> However, all things are kept hidden until it's time. Had anything been revealed about him when we were on the other side of uh, the Milky Way galaxy? Um, they could have made a move against him. Yeah. And they do that in several ways. They don't actually have to use a bullet. They could discredit mm. And they just set it up beautifully. Having him charged with rape or something like that, stupid like yeah. that. But the idea is to uh, say nothing. And then I used to get a lot of phone calls from Pamela, for example. And I'd say, Pamela, I don't talk about anything. It got to the point where um, she would ring 10 times a day, minimum. And um, when you were asked a question, the negative response or that don't want to talk about it, for the people that's listening to you, the Mossad and the CIA and Asia, they can analyse your voice and see what the answer is to the question mm. by your inclination or the... Uh, peak in the sound wave. Mm. So I don't want to talk about it. Right now, with Harry, it's very important because uh, he will be king and uh, he was king at the instant the, the, his mother died and didn't know it, but a little boy. I knew it, but the point is, uh, it's certainly not William because he's Vlad the Impaler. Now, the, the, the true reason for murdering Diana uh, was to get rid of the royal line and then to have a son of the royal line, uh, going back to the uh, King William line of Scotland and so forth, and the, the uh, various kings that's involved along the line. Of course, uh, the Stuart kings, and then down to uh, his son, who was beheaded, and then his offspring. And then finally, uh, we've got the descendants from Diana and uh, coming back into the same family unit with the... Uh, Charles I. Now, this is a big, big thing. It's like Muhammad coming back into the world. Uh, we learned uh, recently that uh, Muhammad himself is actually of the family tree of Muhammad. Through his mother. Through his mother. And we did not know that when Yahweh proved. I didn't have to, to, to know these things. I just say, well, this is what the numbers say, and this is what the stars say, and this is only a relationship in my own life and uh, circumstances, and then mm. this is who the, who the people are in the zoo. So, um, uh, I didn't want to talk about Harry at all, uh, because it would put him in danger. Mm. Not necessarily mortal danger, though they would have tried it, and as they are intending to kill him anyhow, uh, they've got to get rid of the royal line. But since we've crossed over the Milky Way galaxy, then we're on the other side. So if he sits on the throne as the custodian of the throne of Christ, and I'm Christ, so therefore, um, if he was to suddenly decide he didn't want to do it no more, then I'd take over for him. Mm -hmm. But they hold the, the throne of Christ for Christ for whenever he turns. So he has got the divine right as king because his ancestors, in particular Charles I, Charles II, and uh, James VI of Scotland, who become James I of England. So that's basically what it's all about. Now, there's a couple of lunatics running around out there saying all sorts of things. And I welcome it. Let them talk about it because the more confusion, the better. But the key players know who they are. Harry knows yeah. who he is. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what the lunatics are saying is that Harry is Jesus. No. Yahweh. He's a custodian yes. of the throne of Christ. Of Christ. And Yahweh is the king of kings. And I said the other day, uh, I don't want to sit on a bloody throne. That would really give me the shits. <laughs> it's stupid. Actually, we bought your throne yesterday, didn't we? Hmm? We bought your throne yesterday, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks from the salvos. <laughs> <laughs> so, hoping that's clearing up any confusion. Yahweh is Jesus all grown up, the soul of Jesus. And of course, he's the dude who has to prove everything his way by measuring time and distances. Uh, it's got nothing else to do with anybody else there running around saying this, that and the other, um, I'll give you a thinking they're somebody that they're not. Obama story. Um, we was able to backdoor through Facebook into, um, was it Michelle Obama? and the kids, 
No, this this was through YouTube, and it was Susan from uh, Susan. Well, okay. So <laughs> what about people YouTube. did that? Set it all up. Mm. Um, then we got a bit of a dialogue coming back from. Um, and that was through Pamela. Through Pamela, doing a good job there. Um, got to take the good with the bad. This is a lady who would ring me ten times a day and ask me all dumb questions, but she was relentless like a dog with a bone. Yes. So good. Good thing. Mm. Uh, but overzealous becomes a problem. You've got to be able to take orders, shut the fuck up, and shut the fuck up. Mm. Right? You don't have to say it twice. Pamela, shut the fuck up. Don't do any more. The same with uh, anyone that becomes uh, suddenly aware of who I am. It becomes very exciting, I suppose. And they get into wanting to do more. And I say, you don't have to. I've already handled it. No, no problem. So this is what happens. They start asking questions. You have a problem because of the way you can, can't, or won't answer. And um, they just then start zeroing in on, on Harry as being the target to knock over. So Harry is the most important being on the planet to get him to that position of being king because then he can make friends with the uh, tremendous contacts he's got around the world and, of course, with the Muslim world. Now, talking to the Muslims. There are very few Muslims that I've actually spoke to I didn't like. But there's very few Muslims I spoke to that made any sense. If you read a page and a half of the Quran, you never pick it up again. Right? The idea of the Quran and Muhammad and all this kind of thing and the plagiarization of what he was supposed to have said and didn't say, it's got to go back to the first commandment, which is in Mount Catherine's. Now, Mount Catherine's is a um, latitude, longitude, which we can look up and measure to the Great Pyramid. And uh, there's another mountain there. Uh, Nasi Mountain, and this find, forms an equilateral triangle. And of course, what you do is, and I'll show you a book. So it's worthwhile getting rid of the uh, whole of it. Mm. So, guys, we did a little vid called Everybody Chill. Everybody Chill. Uh, Joel had an interesting dream last night about the spiritual tsunami that's on its way. It must be very, very close. A, this is called the, the Star, because this thing's backwards, The Star Mirror by Mark Bidler. And uh, it's got a, um, a comment by a fascinating reading by Robert de Vival, who was a uh, Belgian a scientist, a very, very clever man as well. And then we have another one, which is uh, also a book that is uh, called The a Great Pyramid Decoded by Peter Lamsier, and it's L E M E S U R. I -E -R. Now, I'd like to make a comment on that too. He has rightfully said that the uh, pyramids were built by a uh, race prior to the emergence of the, the Egyptian uh, people, and of course that's now dominating the world because it's a British one. But um, he, he sort of talks about it as being these people that come and do this wondrous work and then leave. Now, then he starts talking about what the British are talking about. Osiris and Horus and phallic symbols and uh, you name it. Missing the whole fucking point. He had it right in the first few pages. Then he goes off with this bloody um, shit that's put out by the um, main measurers of the Great Pyramid, which are all British and the Freemasons and the church, church guys, trying to make it fit their interpretation. Now, as far as the Muslims are concerned, they, I've seen a couple of women beheaded now. I've seen Saudi women, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. I've seen women stoned to death. I can assure you we're going to get even with those people. There will be none of that in the Muslim world. And uh, the Quran, you might as well just take it and tear it up. Because when you die, and you have effectively died from your last reincarnation, and you've gone into an area of heaven just prior to, to getting into the passing of the, the line that goes across the Northern Hemisphere into the Milky Way galaxy, where the judgment seat is, where the threshing floor is. This is where it's all sorted out. You can't have a threshing floor until you get hold of the captives, right? Now, the captives are in the Northern Hemisphere of the Milky Way galaxy. Everything's sailing along because the, the uh, Catholic Church had made a gross error of adding 375 days to the calendar. So, therefore, when they worked out the uh, Mayan calendar being complete on the 21st of December. There was 375 days out. So 
It happened, of course, on uh, December the 11th last year. The moon flipped upside down at the same time and then, then righted itself. Now, that leads us into, is the Earth going to flip over? Is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? It's going to do nothing. What's happened is, because we're back into the northern hemisphere of the Milky Way galaxy, the Coriolis effect of the Milky Way galaxy is pushing the Earth's Coriolis in a different direction and it's causing the weather phenomena that all the scientists in the world are meteorologists talking about. Yet it's starting to sprinkle down water down onto the desert areas of Africa, United States and across Australia. And the easiest way to prove that, get into Google Earth, because they haven't updated the photographs by now. And you can zoom in to the desert areas of Africa and you see that they're green. Hello. So all the disinformation is coming out there. You're not going to get any truth unless you're talking to us. It's as simple as that. Turn everything else off. It's all bullshit. I like that word bullshit. It's, 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 it does. So the message is still everybody chill. It's all under control. And uh, yeah, Joel's uh, spiritual tsunami, this is uh, important. He was. Joel, do you want to come and retell your dream? I think it's important. This was last night. Um, the spirit is being poured out upon all flesh. That's the prophecy of Joel. And so young men have dreams and right old men have visions. Too, <laughs> it's yeah. the right you got, you got free pass. You can bullshit your head off. <laughs> 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 well, I had a dream that I was in a city and... Um, it was near the coast and first of all a big wash of water come in covering the ground covering houses um, taking things out and I was watching from an elevated perspective just thinking well shit that's heavy and then um then all of a sudden it went dark and this big wave was coming in like one that was going to take out the whole place just incredibly huge. And what was your thought? Oh shit. <laughs> now Adam of course had a similar dream uh, a few weeks ago where he was on the beach and uh, same thing. It's a spiritual tsunami. What's been happening since the 22nd of February this year when the spiritual, the, the, the silver cord if you cut, which is the silver cord with, cords were cut, that's the attachment to the heavenly realm of the soul, yeah, they were all cut <laughs> of the wicked because the wicked, their time is up. Once uh, they are taken out at death, then they do not come back ever, ever again. It is finito for them. So a lot of people at the time were wandering around because we had train crashes all over the place because Yahweh has been saying to the world that judgment is coming like a freight train. And of course, you had that famous crash on the 22nd of February in Argentina just to drive home the point. So people have been dropping dead. We had Leopold David de Rothschild uh, reported, who was 84 years old. He actually died on the 13th of April, but it was reported as the 19th because uh, the 13th is when Yahweh said, that's it, it's all over, that's take him out. Um, there have been the other others, well, it was Neil Dexter Armstrong, Neil Armstrong, who was 84 last week when he died. Mm -hmm. Dex said last night, Cardinal, somebody in the Vatican yeah, was 84 right, when he died. And then you've got Sun Moon was 92. So it's like Joel's dream, this washing, taking people, things out. I've personally heard reports, just people around town saying a lot of people around them, close to them, they're having heart attacks and strokes, like what's going on? So that's the, the washing that Joel saw in his dream. Oh. And next is literally the great and terrible day of the Lord, which is an oh shit moment. Uh, it's not a happy and it's a, the spiritual tsunami that will be taking out all evil. That's why it's so, so black. So nobody has to do it. It's already been sorted. It's already been sorted. The good will remain safe no matter where you are and the wicked will be taken out no matter where they are. So, with that... <laughs> well, I, I should say that uh, all those people have, of course, come my way and that includes yourself. Yes. To get this done, yeah, it would have got done anyhow. Would have got done anyway. Makes no damn difference in that mm. sense. But uh, let's let's do it this way. 
if we can, because we're, we're bringing lovely people into helping out. Yes. And they are saints. Yes. But irregardless of them helping or not, mm. we still would have got done. Yeah. Yeah. God's had it handled from the beginning. Mm. Okay. All good. So, talk to you later, guys. And, uh, yeah, go, go, be happy. You know, look forward. Plan. Grow gardens, plants, whatever. Just be Not preoccupied with the bloody bullshit yet. on TV yes. and atomic uh, weapons and uh, Iran uh, and war. And the internet, yes. all the bullshit. We've always also talked about the other day when uh, the uh, General Dempsey went to Tel Aviv and talked to that your president over there, Netanyahu, mm. who's probably the United States, and um, said, we're not going to walk, finish. Yeah. Then they tried to kill him when he got back to Afghanistan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, and of course, Netanyahu is a puppet of Rothschild. It's all about the bankers. I told Obama not to go underground when he went to Denver because they'd already uh, set it up. You go down about 10 floors and they've got increasing horrors as you go down. Oh, yeah. yeah. To it's fly. They do yeah. things like burn your children alive, oh. bleed them, terrify them, drink their blood, then kill the wife, mm. and then put you into a furnace. That's what they were going to do to Obama. Hmm. All right. So now he's staying in the White House. It's... Uh, Mm. Safest place for him. I, was, I said to him, if you do the right thing and do get it all done, mm. then you can stay in the White mm. If you don't, you're dead meat. Mm. It was that simple. Because the angels won't let you stay there. They'll kill you somehow. Mm. That's what they do. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just wanted to clear that up about Harry. He is a king. There are many kings upon the earth. And, of course... Yahweh is the king of kings. And his throne is right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys.